Okay, nerds. It's time for a very well overdue beer review. Um, I reviewed one of these beers, I don't know, maybe a month ago, um, and I've 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 gotten some some inquiries when I'm going to review the other one, and finally, finally, Chris, <laughs> and finally, it's time. Um, it was time like it was time a long time ago too, but you know, shit happens. So here we have Brick and Mortar Brewing Company's for folks sake scotch ale at a hefty 9.9.09 percent nine whatever nine percent abv um chris is a friend of mine that was in the iron brewer competition um super cool guy um i really hope he's going to be in the iron brewer competition again as i just found out today that we're finally back in business for that thing um jake got his got his shit figured out so um so let's see if chris is in the competition let's see what the competition has to offer um coming off of a, a scotch ale i just had the other night from uh chris nama um that i didn't review but i should have because it was freaking awesome Let's see what this one is all about. Um, cool dark ruby color. There you go. There it is. Um, super clear too. It looks really nice. Has a good aroma of uh, that toasted malt thing. Um, no, like no. I don't think there's any peat malt or any smoked malt in this. At least not that I can smell. Um, I generally, well, I shouldn't, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut, whether I like peated malt or I don't, who knows. Um, it smells nice though, dude. Oh, it's, it's a big, it's really big and rich. Um, cool flavor actually. Yeah, it's nice. For 9%, it doesn't it doesn't drink 9% at all. It's got kind of a really Munich-y malt character. Um Munich and also there's a like aromatic malt that gives it that same really caramely kind of kind of richness. I'm sure there's neither of those malts in this beer, but um, just interesting that that's what my mind jumps to. Um, is really like a like a big Munich lager um, kind of character out of this. It's a really nice beer. Um, I'm not gonna pound it down because it's nine percent, and I'd like to stand upright for a while. But yeah, this this beer. Um, has won a couple con uh, a couple competitions down around Madison, um, and and I believe if if I if I remember the story right, there is like the Isthmus Beer Cup, where the the one of the little local newspapers has like a um, basically like a homebrew competition, but they do like five different competitions, and the winner of all these competitions they face off for like the grand cup and i believe man chris you'll have to you'll have to update down in the comments or whatever if i'm completely off fucking base here but um i believe you won you won two of the competitions of this beer um if i remember correctly so um i can see why it's a good beer not my not my style of beer but a really really well brewed beer and I'd happily drink this thing actually this is another maybe I do like scotch ales more than I thought because I've traditionally I'm not a scotch ale guy um, but the one Chris made the other night and now this one this is two in a row that I really really like you could uh, 
get out over your skis in a hurry, I think, with this beer. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to uh, trade some beers with, with Chris coming up soon. And hopefully he jumps on the, the video the video train. Um, he's, he's threatened it before, but hasn't ever uh, pulled the trigger. So uh, hopefully he... Uh, throws a homebrew Wednesday or a, or a beer review or something up uh, one of these days, and uh, we can kind of, you know, embrace him into the nerd community that we have here. Um, maybe I'll get him in the in the new, uh, well, it's not new, but it's new to me, um, the new group on on the Facebooks, because that thing, that thing is freaking bananas. Guys from all over the place that I've never even heard of that are... Uh, throwing up videos so um, maybe it's a little bit of motivation who knows either way uh, Chris rad beer again uh, both your beers were awesome that were in that box um, I believe Brock uh, thought the same thing because I split those off with Brock and uh, yeah so thanks for the beers man uh, super good stuff I hope to see your face on the internet um, sooner than I see your face in a, in a pub somewhere. Um, or maybe see your face in a pub before I see it on the internet. Who knows? Um, but sooner than later, I hope. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, do nerds. Super good Scotch Ale again. Mm. Good stuff. Cheers.